It is the 2nd of the 9th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. EarthChangesScott.net. We had a 4.1 magnitude earthquake in the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, it wasn't too shallow, I believe 7.4 kilometers deep, and uh, definitely shaken. Uh, surprise coral killer hits Florida. Extreme cold. All that extreme cold weather we had over the winter uh, through Florida is having uh, severe effects on the coral reefs in the area, according to scientists. Death toll from Thailand's flood climbs to 54. And uh, that's the Typhoon Tok 10, or Nok 10, tropical storm running through the area. Uganda government calls crisis meeting as floods swamp country. The government tomorrow will host a special meeting in the, with humanitarian agencies in uh, Kampala to structure a sustainable response to different disasters ravaging the country, a minister said last night. 20 inches of rain, Gulf Coast warned for the weekend. Uh, we definitely have a tropical depression down there. They're saying it might turn into a tropical storm, but even if it doesn't, uh, it's going to dump a lot of rain in the New Orleans area, uh, right around the Gulf region, <clears throat> which is uh, definitely some needed rain. 4.9 earthquake shocker wakes Christchurch, uh, along with all their other damaged infrastructure and they're still um, dealing with the big quake that was Christchurch last year and uh, yeah they haven't slowed down a bit uh, Virginia US shaken again more than 20 aftershocks from the 5.8 East, Co Co East Coast earthquake now felt uh, continues to rumble 102 people die in Nigeria after a dam collapses and flooding uh, where a dam burst and a river overflowed near the city of Ibadan, officials said on Wednesday, a rain deluge from Friday night to early Saturday caused the, the Odo Ona River to overflow and the Elili Dam to collapse and all the madness that entails with that. Uh, they've got a story of bolt from the blue dramatic movement. A thunderbolt lights up the Eiffel Tower. Uh, they got a really good shot of uh, lightning hitting the Eiffel Tower. I have that up on my channel now. Uh, we've got another big giant ice island set to break off in Greenland Glacier. Uh, if you remember last year, um, a big piece of the, the ice broke off about the size of Manhattan. Uh, they're saying one that twice the size of that is about ready to set off again and uh, this glacier is receding at alarming rates. Over to the extinction protocol. Um, they're gearing us up for World War III here. France warns Iranian threat may lead to preemptive strike. Now the French aren't saying they're going to do it, but somebody might do it if they don't calm down their nuclear aspirations. And um, basically Iran tells everybody to go stuff it. Iceland's Katla volcano hit by 3.2 magnitude earthquake underneath the glacier that is Katla. Activity continues through and she is overdue and she is definitely a climate changer. Now you got to remember the last time she went off in 1919, I believe. Uh, it was definitely a uh, uh, nuclear winter style s substance, uh, no summer. 4.3 magnitude earthquake in Los Angeles and uh, they've got a story awakening more rumblings from world super volcanoes uh, they've got a video out three New Zealand super volcanoes three New Zealand super volcanoes are rumbling along with Japan and California Cosmic ray intensity shows steady increase for the month of August. And you remember, as I reported a couple days ago, uh, that solar activity and cosmic rays are the major benefactors to our environment and our weather more than anything else. So uh, it's on the rise for sure. And the story, uh, 
Central Virginia has been shaken by another aftershock from last week's earthquake that rattled the East Coast. The U.S. Geological Survey reported a 3.4 magnitude aftershock um, this morning. Da -da -da, they were having continue more aftershocks. Uh, where was my point here? The aftershocks occurred as it revealed the last Tuesday quake rattle casks holding radioactive nuclear waste at a Virginia plant moving at the items as much as uh, four and a half inches from their original position. The earthquake which was felt as far away as Toronto shifted 25 caskets each 16 feet tall and weighing 115 tons on a concrete pad on the Dominion Resources Incorporated North Anna nuclear power plants. And uh, those are the dry cast storage that they've got these uh, spent nuclear fuel on. And it's a little more stable than the, the pools, say, in Fukushima. But uh, still, it's, the earthquake was strong enough to uh, my point coming here. Um, over to energy news, and this is just about the North Anna. I'm not going to get into the Fukushima stories. Augmented inspection team is only used when risk of reactor core damage rises by 100 the AIT is already at Quake Hit North Anna Nuclear Power Plant in Virginia. I will attach a link to these stories below. Spokesman, Quake Damage North Anna Spent Fuel Bunkers Concrete Came Loose. Not considered serious. Now that's the story where they moved four and a half inches. CNN, officials kept news from public that North Anna Spent Fuel Cast Shifted. Have known since shortly after the quake hit on the 23rd. And another story, a strong aftershock jolt quake hits Virginia reactors, epicenters in the same county as the North Anna Nuclear Power Plant. And the one last story here. <clears throat> a local paper asks, is North Anna safe? Did the quake damage near reactors or underground piping? Now this story goes into the fact that there are miles and miles of underground piping in uh, the North Anna nuclear power plant for the cooling of this radioactive water and there's no way for inspectors to get down and inspect this and they're declaring them safe because there's no obvious leaks uh, when there might be minor leaks to the the quake damaged piping system and uh, some of the locals are say are warning people to uh, definitely get to the bottled water um, and look into this tritium I believe um, that is about all I have for you tonight. Uh, I can touch over to the RSOE real quick. Uh, we got some volcanic activity in uh, Indonesia. The Poco Ranuka volcano went up to level 2. Uh, Tambora went up to level 2. That's another volcano. That's another great big one. Uh, another climate changer uh, increased in activity there. Landslides in Uganda, flooding in Nigeria, uh, the forest fire in the Possum Kingdom Lake region. Um, this this area has just exploded with flames again. And you can remember from last April, they lost a bunch of houses back then too. And uh, this is an ongoing situation, which is the the drought devastation that is uh, South Central United States of America this summer. And where was that other one? Oh, non-categorized event in Nam Nambia. And they're saying they found four barrels of uh, uranium um, <coughs> radioactive... Uh, where? Let me get to it real quick. They found four unguarded barrels of radioactive uranium oxide, uh, which is a mineral that, that they mine up in um, Nambia is a major exporter but they're basically saying there's there's no track of these and um, they definitely want to keep track of of where these product is going and these just kind of washed up off on the shore out of nowhere uh, so we got four barrels of radioactive uranium oxide uh, washing up on the beach in Africa so that's all I'm gonna give you or you tonight uh, again if I missed anything please Put your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy a weekend, everybody. Thanks.